Tears flowed as a family-owned flower shop was destroyed in a fire just three weeks ago. But now a nearby small business is opening its doors and its arms to help a shattered family rebound and rebuild. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has the story from Freeport. It really felt hopeless. Our whole lives worked and it was gone. Just before Thanksgiving, a landmark family owned flower shop, Duriers on Guy Lombardo Avenue in Freeport, was destroyed in an intense overnight backdraft blaze. This is my heart and soul. The owners disconsolate when suddenly a remarkable gesture. Oh, I know that gut wrenching feeling when you've lost everything. The owner of Otto Sea Grill was taken back in time to Superstorm Sandy when her family's famed restaurant on Freeport's Nautical Mile rebuilt with the help of the community. I saw the devastation of their fire. I didn't think twice about offering up our place. From surf and turf to bouquets, the restaurant closed until March due to the pandemic is being temporarily transformed. We used her shelving, her refrigeration, where her salad bar was. I have all my vases set up. Their hot prep station is all our Christmas prep items. Villagers are coming in each day to buy any little thing to keep Duriers going. Great flower shop, a great restaurant. I'm glad I see people helping each other out. We were surprised by the outpouring of emotion with this. The space is rent free, except for sharing electricity costs until the flower shop can find a new location. We can't express our gratitude enough. It seems to be limitless care for a local small business. Time to reflect and to be thankful for the great community we live in. Otto's opened in 1929, Duriers in 1932. Generations of support that, with hope, will continue to flourish. From Freeport, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.